There was an article in the Forward, which is the, a large Jewish newspaper in New York, uh, that raised multiple concerns about uh, the treatment of workers, how the environment was being treated at agri-processors. And there was some real concern about wages, about training, about accidents. We realized that we were more concerned about the smoothness of a cow's lung, but the safety of a worker's hand meant little to us. We never asked when we went to a grocery store, I wonder if any workers were injured in the production of this food. The conservative movement of, uh, of the Jewish community organized a commission of inquiry that went to, to Postville to meet with the uh, managers of the plant and others in Postville. Carlos was brought to meet with us by the Commercial Food Workers Union. As I said, you know, we're here to find out what it's like for you to work in a plant that is producing the food that many of us feel an obligation to eat. And he looked at us almost with tears in his eyes and he and he said, you know, I've worked in, at my plant for 10 years, and I've worked next to rabbis every day of my life. Not one of them has ever said to me, what's it like for you to work in this plant? And it was at that point that my understanding of what it was that we were obligated to do uh, in the fulfillment of the laws of kashrut uh, changed. Well, there have been uh, raids being done by Immigration and Custom Enforcement, which is the new INS out of the Department of Homeland Security. The Postville raid was distinguished by two things. One is it was the largest raid ever conducted in terms of the number of workers that were arrested, almost 400. Two, for the first time, workers were actually arrested and convicted of a felony for Social Security fraud or identity fraud and are actually put in prison. They have to stay in prison for five months, and it's only after they go to prison that they then get deported. My older daughter, she's seven years old, she asked me, what is, what is happening to you and why do you have that in your foot? I explained to her that we have to go to Mexico, and she tells me that she doesn't want to go to Mexico because she was born here. The issue with the raids is not a legal issue is a human rights issue. When you're separating families, when you are deporting parents of children who are American citizens, uh, and, and many, many other things that happen as byproducts of the raids, uh, you are violating human rights. <laughs> the rally to address two distinct but related issues. The first was that we have a broken immigration system in the United States that needs to be fixed. And we're addressing this by working for comprehensive immigration reform that focuses on family unification, a path to legalization, and an end to raids. The second issue is workplace justice. Danos. Danos. Valor. Valor. Danos esperanza. Danos. Danos amor. Give us courage. Give us courage. Give us hope. Give us hope. Give us love. Give us love. We ask the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Sarah, Yadaki, and Mahova. This is what Yahweh asks of you: to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your love. Justicia, que sepas amar. We are grateful to all of you who have come from near and far to join us in this prayer for justice. May we walk in peace. May justice be our aim.
Those who want to enforce immigration law have gotten what they've wanted. Even though it tears apart this town, devastates the school district, and brings sorrow to families. Let's call on our legislators to protect the worker, to protect dignity, to protect safety, to protect families, as vehemently as they talk about protecting any borders. Which way does the Statue of Liberty turn? Does it turn outward to say to people, come here, you are welcome? Or does it turn inward, saying to us, give us your poor, your tired, the huddled masses so we can send them away? But we must do more than say we are the righteous. We must become the righteous and demand of our country that it fulfill the dreams of that great statue of the These people invaded us. They came here illegally. We, n we never asked them to come in here. It is against the law for agro processors to hire illegally. the other side that's just about justice and the breaking up of families and that there was some heavy-handed enforcement activity that took place by ICE. But the fact is, every one of those people who were arrested committed a felony of identity theft. The raids that took place here were an outrageous criminalizing of people who came to this community just to make a living. We are here because we care about how workers are treated in this country. There are deeply troubling reports from this plant about the treatment of workers. People not treated with the dignity they deserve because they are human beings created in the image of God, but Selim Elohim. So we quote our traditions teaching today as we gather to walk in the ways of the worthy and follow in the paths of the righteous. My mom is leaving with cancer, so, and I miss her a lot. But in one of her cards, she said, you're my greatest hope, and I will fulfill her dreams. And I want you to help us to stop the rage. I don't really want no more family separation, no more tears in anybody's eyes. I want happiness in this country, because that's what it's about.